First question for you. I want to know what is your Ken's greatest asset at the very beginning of the movie? But I also want to know what you think his greatest weakness is, the thing he needs to overcome to become a better Ken. Oh, that's such a good question. Um, yeah, here's the thing. Okay, I think I think my Ken's greatest asset at the beginning of the movie is that um, he can backflip. That's right. I said it. It's a spoiler. Uh, he can backflip. He backflips really well, actually. Um, and it becomes uh, surprisingly a big plot point that that he can backflip. Um, because it makes Ryan's Ken really, really jealous. It just irks him that there's something that this Ken can do that his Ken can't. And um, and for my, I mean, as as Ken, I love that. Ken loves that. And um, and I would say that gives you a clue into Ken's greatest weakness. Not just mine, but I think everyone's is that um, you know there there is no. There is no sense of of community among the Kens. There's a lot of infighting. There's a lot of uh, a lot of tearing each other down. And when you're kind of starved for that kind of sense of Ken dome, this, this bro- brotherhood of Kens, um, I think it can it can lead you to be you know pretty pretty miserable and really competitive for no reason. Um, and then over the course of the movie, I would say with a couple of uh, wrong turns along the way, a couple of misguided things happen. But uh, I think the Kens ultimately end up in a very good place where they're able to hopefully, um, you know, coexist harmoniously with the Barbies. All right. I like I like the sound of that for the future, for, for the potential yeah. sequel. Um, yeah, we love we love world peace at the end of the day. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Let's say it was your Ken who had gone to the real world. What mm. might have Barbie land have turned into? Would it have been the same as uh, Ryan's Ken and what he creates? Or would your Ken have created, you know, a different different song, different movie, different vibe other than, you know, cowboys and horses. Yeah, that's a really, that's a really interesting question. Um, Yeah, I think, I think my Ken would have some interesting uh, design ideas for uh, Barbie Dreamhouse that maybe Ryan's Ken would, would not have. Um, I find the, I find the horse symbolism very, um, very interesting, a little questionable. Not really sure where the fixation on horses come from. I would probably pick a different animal, like a wolf. Um, I would say, you know, more wolf, a lot of wolf. Um, nunchucks, maybe? I'm kind of feeling like, who doesn't love nunchucks? Um, um, I'd probably have like some, you know, because I think my Ken would probably stumble into, you know, Koreatown, would probably discover, you know, uh, boba for the first time or like Korean barbecue would just become really obsessed with that. So be, there'd be a lot of grilling. There'd be a lot of barbecues, a lot of backyard barbecues. Um, and um, what else? What else would my Ken bring back from the real world? Um, um, break dancing. I think my Ken would like, you know, cause, cause, you know, all Kens can dance, but I think if, if my Ken were to run into a break dancer in the real world, I think that would just blow his mind. And he would be like, I need to bring this back. It's the greatest thing ever. It's exactly how I felt when I first saw break dancing for the first time. As long as we get back to world peace at the end of this version of the movie, like this sounds like a fun, a fun Barbie land Ken dome to come visit for a little bit. Absolutely. Break dancing naturally, I think, would segue quite nicely into world peace. OK, so you just brought up that all Kens can dance. But I want to know, can all actors who are playing Kens dance? Who was the best dancer? And then who, you know, needed a little work to get the choreography right? Oh, Oh man, look, I can't name any names. I can't name any names, all right? All I wanna say, all I wanna say is that uh, there's one Ken in the movie who can uh, <laughs> who can uh, backflip, and only one Ken in the movie who can backflip. And this become, this is a very important point in the story of the Kens because it uh, makes all the Kens really, really jealous. Okay, so you are, you are at the top of the list. I will believe I didn't, that. I mean, I, I didn't say. <laughs> I think everybody was really, it was so fun doing dance practice 
with every with all the Kens, which, by the way, is one of the probably one of the favorite sentences I've ever said out loud. Um, you know, er, like everyone is so great from like from oh my god, Scott to Shooty, Ryan, of course. Um, you know, Ryan, I'm, I know you've seen the YouTube videos. Used to be quite a dancer, um, and still is. I'm happy to report. And uh, in Kingsley, of course, as well. Um, it was just so much fun with those guys, and we had incredible choreographers. Um, in Lisa Wellam, Jen White, they were just the best and and um, made it easy for us to, to pick it up. All right. I have uh, one more name I want to drop here to sing her praises a little. Greta Gerwig. What yes. is something unique about Greta as an actor's director that you really appreciated here? Something that made you feel like, you know, you could even exceed your own expectations for your work in this film. Yeah, that's a that's a really, really great way to put it. I think Greta comes from such a I mean, to, to, you know, she, she comes from such a love of, you know, cinema, such a love of like, you know, theater, old school theater. Um, I think she she really placed a lot of importance on the rehearsal process. And that's important. We don't always get that in, in the film world. And just getting to, you know, getting to put scenes on their feet before, you know, we saw any of the sets, but just kind of actor to actor, getting to play, getting to sense each other's energy, getting getting a sense of like where we were at. And I thought that was so crucial. And um, it was in one of my first, you know, rehearsals with Ryan that I was so blown away by his tenacity, by his talent. And it was it was a very important moment for me because I was like, oh, thank goodness I didn't witness this for the first time as the cameras were about to roll because I got to really up my game. Like he was incredible, and um, I just uh, it, it taught me so much, and and that among many other things, I think is why Greta is just such a, an amazing director and the perfect director for this movie. You not forget, you can backflip. You never have to feel the pressure to up. That's your true. Game. That's true. I did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I must leave you, but I will say congratulations on Barbie and thank you for your time today. Thank you so much.